The way I first found out about Article 19 is um, there's this girl in my class, Christy Palmer, who happened to be a friend of the lead singer, Brett, um, for Article 19. And I've known Brett actually since high school. And I didn't realize that he was in a band, so it was kind of cool seeing him in the Hartford Current. Um, I have heard of the band Article 19. I first heard of them uh, through my friend Brett. He's in the band. Um, and I know Doug through Tenet, the band he used to be in before they were Article 19. Say goodbye to this round, looking for someone to come in. The fact that their style of music isn't like what you normally hear. It's it's even hard to describe just in general genres like funk, um, rock, like what it actually is. So when you listen through their songs or a CD of theirs, you never get the same thing twice, which is kind of refreshing. They came right out the gate. They came straight out the gate running because uh, they started soon after Tenet broke up and they just became this huge thing and have gigs all the time and they're really popular already and they're performing at these prestigious places that other bands don't get to. I'm Doug. And I play the bass. I am Brett. And I'm the lead singer and the keyboard player. Uh, my name is Rick. I play the guitar. I'm Jim Townsend. I am uh, the drummer for our playing team. We uh, we just moved in together, all of us. It's good. We all get along. It's it's very easy going. We're all easy going. Dude. We all get get along quite well. I think Brett came up with it when he was on the internet searching for some different titles. Oh, well, I came up with it. <laughs> no, Brett came up with it. Um, what it means, uh, well, I guess, is that it's something with some bill of something. I actually, uh, I came up with the idea. It's uh, in the Declaration of Human Rights, Article 19, states that everyone has a right to freedom of opinion and expression. So it's pretty much you can think what you want and say what you want. The band was formed in May 2008. First show is in June. Our client team has been around since May of this year. Seven months, eight months. Our first show was at Mohegan Sun. We've had a few shows there since. We've played uh, Six Flags in New England, Six Flags Great Adventure in New Jersey. We played throughout Connecticut. Um, a little bit of New York and into Massachusetts a little bit. Oh, we played New York City. We played at the casino, uh, Yukon, local shows at local bars like uh, Sully's Pub, things like that. Uh, for me, most memorable show was probably Yukon because it was uh, hundreds of students that got to see us. And um, I think we got rid of all of our merchandise within the first 10, 15 minutes. And we had a large fan base after the show that wanted to get to meet us. My most memorable show was uh, actually our first one um, at Mohegan Sun, like I said. It was sick. Uh, Webster Underground was the most memorable show. You know, New York was pretty memorable. That was pretty recent, so I can remember that. Uh, at this rate, I think they'll definitely get huge. I think they'll definitely get somewhere. I think they definitely have the heart and the initiative to get there. It's just a matter of finding that one person that takes an interest in what their style is. I see Article 19 two years from now. If they stick to with what they're doing, how they're practicing, and how they keep getting their name out there, I think they'll definitely get somewhere. But we won't stop until we bring down I mean, they're well on their way to getting known and getting out there because they're up in Massachusetts doing stuff. They're all over Connecticut doing things. So I think they're really getting their name out there and they're going to be a force to reckon with.